Hey guys, Omar here. Hope you're doing well. I am making this video because recently I was looking at some of my low light Fuji JPEGs and they were ugly. This is kind of a known issue. If you Google Fuji waxy skin, there's like a lot of discussion and talk about how Fuji in low light or in not the best lighting conditions can smear up people's skin. And also even some of your photos, like at night, you get like ugly JPEGs. So in this video, I'm gonna show you one way that you can sort of tone down this ugly, waxy skin and weird JPEGs that are going on. Okay, my first suggestion is even if you're in low light, and I've done some tests with this, even if you're in low junky light and higher ISOs, you can still get good JPEGs if you use the lighting in the room or area correctly, as if the light is hitting someone's face, you're gonna get better JPEGs than if someone is backlit and their face is darker than the surroundings. Darker faces and darker areas of clothes are gonna get up, in, they're gonna be in the shadows, so they're gonna get more noise. That is where the problem begins. As soon as you start to get darker areas, the camera will pick that up as dark, shadow, noisy areas and try to help that JPEG by reducing the noise and you get smeariness. So the first suggestion is even if you're in low light, move a person or move your object to get the most amount of light as opposed to trying to shoot that object in the shadows. The second thing is on your camera, there's a noise, and I'll show you this on the computer in a second. There's a, a setting called noise reduction and it's set to zero on your camera. Now, even at zero, it still tries to reduce noise. And this noise reduction is actually what we see as the smoothing weirdness that goes on on some of the JPEGs. I'm gonna play around with it and show you on the computer, but we are going to raise it up all the way to plus four. We're gonna keep it at zero and we are going to reduce it to minus four. Now for the sake of this test, we're gonna exaggerate our ISO and go all the way up to 12,800. Uh, so of course, one way you could reduce the smeary JPEGs and all that is to keep your ISOs as low as possible. I found that anything below uh, 6400, like 3200, 1600, the camera does pretty okay. As Soon as you start to raise up your ISO and get uglier, lower light, forget it, the JPEGs are disgusting. Let's go to the computer. All right, let's start with a picture of me looking all plasticky. What a terrible JPEG. Oh, wait a minute, that's not me, that's soups. I always get us confused. Okay, so here's what I'm talking, oh, in your face. Here's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so you can't kind of get this plasticky look from some of your JPEGs, and it's a combination of low light, high noise, and this is noise reduction in the camera where the camera is trying to, to reduce as much noise as possible. So you get this smooth, plasticky look to your JPEGs. Now, just looking at normal here, it doesn't look terrible, but it's when you start pixel peeping and looking at your JPEGs a little closer and trying to look for nose hairs, you start to see how terrible it is. Um, and I'll show you if you turn your noise reduction down. So this is noise reduction down minus four. Okay, so let's look at the two real quick. So you can kind of see a little bit more plastic on the side and here, you know, you're gonna get more noise. You're obviously gonna get more noise, but I'd rather have more detail than, than less noise. Did that make sense? Look, look at soups in the back there. <laughs> so I'd rather have noise and, and you know, the noise in the Fuji cameras isn't terrible from a JPEG, you know, it looks kind of like grain. And look at the ISO we're shooting at. This is super exaggerated, 12, 800. Just to take a quick look at how much work, oh my God, look at my egghead. Just to see how much work this file is doing. Um, here's the, <laughs> oh my God, it looks like I'm a burnt tomato. This is the raw file on the right that needs a lot of work. It's got all kinds of blotchiness going on. But you can see the noise reduction taking place in the JPEG right here. Again, minus four noise reduction, but you still get some. And just to super exaggerate, here's the noise reduction turned up to plus four. So it's just, you look really plasticky and really terrible. All right, so I wanted to test that that was bad lighting. So that if you see that from that, that's lighting coming from the back. So I wanted really good lighting. I moved over to the window and this is noise reduction zero. Uh, it's not as bad as the low light, okay? So it's not as terrible 
as the low light. Here's zero. Let's compare the two. Uh, so here, these are both noise reduction zero at the same ISO. And uh, of course, the one with better lighting is just get doing a lot, of, a lot better because there is less noise. <laughs> okay, so now what I did was I turned down the noise reduction to, uh, what is this? This is minus four. Is that why I'm so happy? I'm so happy in the image because <laughs> this is now noise reduction at um, minus four. So I turned it off here. Good lighting, noise reduction, minus four. The JPEG is still ugly, but remember, we're going super extreme here, and we're looking, we're pixel peeping, and there's the less of a plasticky look going on. So the moral of the story is turn down that noise reduction as far down as it goes, and I would keep it down. I'm gonna keep mine down for my JPEGs at minus four, just in case. Here is, uh, what are we doing here? What's this one? Okay, so this is a good lighting plus four versus minus four. So here again, good lighting is the trick and not too bad. But I mean, good lighting makes it less plasticky, but it's still terrible. Um, and what I'm gonna show you is, so here I lowered my ISO to 400 and kept the noise reduction up high and the image is clean. So the noise reduction didn't kick in. There was less noise because um, I was at a lower ISO. Uh, but as soon as you kick that ISO up, the noise reduction plus four takes over. This is in the same spot, but I just raised my ISO like crazy. Uh, so here, these are both at plus four, plus four, but keeping your ISOs low will reduce any kinds of weird plasticky artifacts. Oh my God, sad face. Here's a super extreme example at 6,400 ISO. And this one is at plus four at noise reduction. And uh, you can see my stubble and everything. This is just like a terrible, terrible JPEG. Everything gets all smeary and stuff. And uh, one option, you know, in, in extreme conditions like this is to shoot raw. Okay, so you can shoot raw here. I'll show you the, co the uh, comparison between the two here. Smeary uh, noise reduction JPEG on the left, and here is the stubble and the look of a raw file on the right. You know, so if you are in an extreme situation where it's crazy low light, like just a candle, uh, you're gonna have to bring your raws in, and then you can work with your raw files later. But the JPEG is like, whoa. <laughs> but even if you're shooting JPEG, uh, bringing that noise reduction down to minus four will help. So this one on the right here is, I mean, they're both still terrible, geez. But uh, here, again, shoot raw, shoot raw if you're an extreme case here. But uh, the plasticiness seems to go down. Uh, with you can see it on my nose here the plasticky seems to go down with that noise reduction reduced so get <laughs> sad face get rid of that noise reduction get put it down to minus four ugly jpegs because of noise reduction because of high iso because of shadows and ugly light and you know shoot raw or <laughs> get that noise reduction all the way to minus four i'm keeping mine at minus four, I don't mind a little noise, a little grain. You need a little noise in your life. As usual, we have a great community. Leave your comments below on how we can help people with their disgusting JPEGs. And don't even think about saying use a Sony instead. Uh-huh, I'm on to you. Yeah.